Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine eta squared using Python 3 in Jupyter Lab. Now this is an effect size measure that can go with a one-way ANOVA uh, according to Bakemon and also Levine and Hulet. Uh, sometimes omega squared might be preferred but that's a whole different discussion. As for the interpretation, uh, one rule of thumb from Cohen for eta squared looks like this. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to actually get this down because Cohen is actually using an another effect size f, which he reports, but then he also has a formula to convert that f to eta squared, so that's how I got to this one. Those are just rule of thumb. Now, to find eta squared, you can actually use the Pingoian package and we'll do the work for you in Python. So, let's import that. but to show you how that all works, I'll use an example file. The example file will be loaded as a pandas data frame, so I'll first need to uh, import pandas. And if you've never used a package before, you can use exclamation sign pip install and then the name of the package to install it. That goes for any of the packages I'm using here. After I imported pandas, I can use its read CSV function to load my data file. The head will show the first five uh, records and that gives you a little bit of an impression of the data. Now the example is going to be using as a nominal field the location, so that's my grouping variable, and as a scale or number field the overall grade, so I'm going to calculate the averages of those. The eta squared, like I mentioned, is immediately shown if you use the Pingoian package, so I can import that, and then I can use its ANOVA function, which takes as input the overall grade, so that's the number um, field and that's short for depending variable and between is then the grouping variable with detailed set to true so I get a nice pandas frame as a data frame as an output. As you can see it shows here np2 which is actually partial eta squared but for a one-way ANOVA that's the same as eta squared. You can check if you really want to see eta squared by adding f size equals n2 in here and then it will also show n2. Uh, in the example, it's uh, 0 0.26, so that would fit into the 0 0.14 to 1 category, so considered large. The formula for eta squared is actually the sum of squares between divided by the sum of squares total. It's actually these two. Um, this is the sum of squares within, and the total is actually the sum of these two. So just to check, we can actually uh, use the output from our ANOVA to hopefully get the same result, and yes, it's exactly the same. In the ANOVA video, I also show in the appendix, or actually I, um, in the ANOVA document, I show in the appendix how you can get these also um, without using Pingoian. So if you really want to calculate eta squared without using Pingoian, you can have a look there on how to get these two, and then simply calculate eta squared from there. Uh, to look everything up, we can of course also use some if and else if statements and then we indeed get to large because eta squared is 0 0.263. And that was all there was to it actually. Yeah. Um, these are the references and hopefully um, this video was helpful and thank you for watching.